Like I told y'all, I'm back at it with another video, and it's going to be a quick one. We're going to see the update of Cat Williams with Abba and Preach. We're going to see what they're talking about. Cat Williams hired ex Kevin Hart's ex wife. Everyone responds the aftermath of the interview. Shout out to Abba and Preach, man. Let's get it. Very few people even really deny Nobody what said, Cat yeah, saying is true, yeah. which is the most bizarre thing That's all of all of it. I would have thought some of y'all would be like, no, no, I got receipts. It turns out Cat Williams has decided to bring Kevin Hart's ex-wife on tour with him. <laughs> I didn't believe it when I saw it. I still... <laughs> if y'all know where Cat Williams and uh, Kevin Hart are beefing, they have been for quite some time. <laughs> Cat Williams feels like he's an industry plant. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to L.A. and in his first year in L.A. he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading? No, we've never... I'm not even gonna lie to you. When he made that point... I, I always kind of felt weird because I'm like, I might have seen Kevin Hart in like scary movie. Just like I might have seen like Lorenz Tate brother in certain movies like in Don't Drink Your Juice in the Hood, this and that. But I used to always kind of be like, who the fuck, who is this dude? But then when I realized that's Lorenz Tate brother, I'm like, oh, okay, he got connections. Who the fuck? Who let Kevin Hart into these movies? Like, the scary movie shit. Like, he was next to Anderson, Anthony Anderson. And he was next to um people early on in his career. Like, I saw the little, the little pilot of the TV show they had. That shit was trash. I watched a few episodes. I'm like, damn, this shit really was not, not that good. Like, the writing was just not there. And it wasn't funny. It wasn't shit. And then, um... I seen him, oh, Soul Plane is coming out, and it was marketing it, and it was like, I ain't know who Arthur Godfrey was either, though, to be honest with you. I ain't know who the fuck he was. He kind of came off like um, Michael Blackson. Like, he was playing that stereotypical African role, and then me and my ex-wife, like, we went to go see him perform at the Hard Rock, and he was funny as shit. Or it wasn't a hard rock. It was like West Palm Improv or some shit like that. He was funny as shit. And I was just like, damn, I thought he was like Michael Blackson, where it's just like he do African jokes, African jokes. He'll have a segment where he talk about African shit. But for the most part, he just be funny as shit. He be doing impersonations, all types of shit. He's, he's well-rounded as hell. And um, I just never knew who the fuck Kevin Hart was. It just, it's like, who is this dude? And then he came out with the, um, the little... Whatever the fuck them shits were, um, grown little man, or whatever his like stand ups. I can't remember the ones that where he was just like talking about his daddy and all this and that. People used to always quote them shits when I was in school, but I never watched the whole version. I used to watch Cat Williams and all these other people, but I never really watched him like that. To be honest, I'm gonna just be real with you. Um, Never watched Kevin Hart, but he had his own movie, The Soul Plane shit. I'm like, how the fuck did he get Soul Plane? And he was the leading man in that shit. Along with Old Girl from Friday. I'm like, that's crazy. Friday after the next, I mean. And her sexy ass. Ever heard of that before that person or since that person? What do you think a plant is? Kevin Hart feels like he's a hard worker and that Cat Williams is a bit of a lazy bum who squandered a lot of his opportunity and forced for a long time. Mm. Some people got their games. <clears throat> he taking his ex-wife on tour. That's wild. That's wild. <laughs> but it is what it is. What What's funny, though, is that uh, Tori kept Kevin Hart the same name. I, when, when artists do that, I think it's weird. I think it's weird, but whatever. I get you it. You mean after the divorce, you didn't go After the her? divorce, you don't go back to... It's weird to me. I'm going to be a heart until I decide not to be. It's weird. He doesn't mind her having it, and her kids want her to keep it, too. And that's fine. I get that. I, th I still think it's weird. And then I'm going to be a heart. I'm going to be a heart until I decide not to. So now you're a heart that goes on tour with Kat. That's, that's, yeah, that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. That's, that's what you're doing. Yeah. That, that's what you're... You're going to be a heart until you decide not, and now you ask her. Man, I can't explain why women don't do things, bro. I don't see women who never take your name. Um... You marry them, and they never go to the social security office and take your name. I done seen women that they can't wait to have your name, and they keep your name after you fucking divorce. So, I think my mother still got our, our last name. I don't even know. But to be real true, like, women pick and choose that shit. I done heard a woman tell me, if you don't want me having this last name, then you put a ring on it and change it. I done heard that, too. 
Women be having all kind of reasons for why they do and don't do shit. You can't never figure that shit out, bro. Unless you ask them or you just don't care enough about it. A heart. Hmm? You decide to go... Well, to be fair, I'm pretty confident that when he left her, he cheated on her. He I understand the next all that. I just is a bit wild. But then again, then again, then, 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 then again, everybody's cool with the name. It's just a name thing, the name keeping thing. Everybody's cool. Then I don't have no business not being cool with it. It's not my business, right? After that, uh, she goes to tour with Cat. She sees an opportunity. She sees it. Cat's being pity. It is going to be what it is going to be. Yeah, petty. She could be funny, so who knows on that front. Uh, but that's I, why. I think it's really just messing up with her. Because when she goes on tour with Cat, and Cat said, I only bring people that are more funnier than me on tour. If you're not funny and she can't, it really can be a demise. Really, if she is funny, then do you, boo-boo, I mean, I mean, hold all day, every day. If there's ever an audience that's going to eat up whatever she got to say about her ex-husband, is it not Cat Williams' audience? I mean, just say it. I'm just saying. That's like me bringing on Fresh and Fit's biggest hater on tour with us to open. Mm. I'm just saying. So, listen, all this talk, I've seen a lot of people respond. I have never seen celebrities respond to so a much. podcast. <clears throat> like they have to this one. <clears throat> I'm talking about everyone coming out the right. woodwork. You got yep. Ludacris yep. rapping. Yeah. Never been Illuminati, only Illuminati, and I only left with bitches when coming from any party. Now I'm married with kids, the evolution of life. Never been a cloud taste, and never say shit for likes. R.I.P. John Singleton. You never have to flex when you earn every one of your Fast and Furious checks. Afro with the sideburns, yeah, that's my signature. Addictions on the rise, comedians check your temperature. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? Cat Williams said something about you joining the Illuminati, and what do you say Luda had to do? So there was a crossroads where we were both invited to an Illuminati thing, and it had to be one or the other of us, and decisions had to be made. So it was both of us, we were equal. One of us had to cut off all their hair and couldn't do the sideburn thing no more with the points. And the next... Bro... You gotta be a fucking. I don't even know if that's narcissist. I don't know what that would be, bro. That's not histrionic. I don't know what type of <laughs> delusional to make some shit up like this. Look at how detailed he's saying, bro. He got the points with the thing. One of us had to shave and have the. Then all of them get the same wives with the, the light skin, and they don't ever talk or say anything in the media. Like, bro. It's, it's too many specific things he's saying unless he's just that good of a writer and he just comes up with shit off the top of the head or he done wrote this down before. You got to be an amazing fucking liar, bro, to come up with all this shit. This person they said was going to get $200 million because they were going to pay him $10 million a movie to do 20 movies. And that's how the conversation happened. One of those persons turned out to be ludicrous and the other person turned out to be Cat Williams. Now, one person ended up with a light-skinned, ugly-faced wife that's never done a... Remember I told you that if I say that, it apply to seven people? Yeah. It's part of what they give you. Okay? I didn't get it. All right. It was some sus shit. So, so something about booty and everything else. Yeah. Okay? And Luda came out with a fucking... A rap. A rap. I was like, what is going on? These people are weird. They got Steve Harvey talking about, hey, I ain't got to address my haters. And all these clips are servicing. But it's interesting because very few people even really deny Nobody what said, Cat's yep, saying is true. Yep. Which is the most bizarre thing That's of all of it. Thing. I would have thought some of y'all be like, no, no, I got receipts. Nobody. The only thing that even you guys are denying, the only thing that you guys are denying is he can't run that fast and didn't read that many books. The rest, you're not saying shit. That's weird. Hey, listen, him not being able to run a, a, a 40 yard dash in under four seconds or whatever the fuck it under was. Under five. And and he did. I, he's fifty two, and I think he ran it in like five seconds, which four, is four sixty seven, which is still incredibly impressive for his age. He could have ran it in six. People were like, "Ah, but he lied. See, he didn't run it in the exact." I was like, "Who cares?" That's a fifty two year old man running that fast. Like, I was actually shocked when he ran. Some of you, I'm not gonna lie. Some I of saw you... him run it, and I'm like, "Damn, crack got a really not not, not saying, but like, it just gave me that vibe of seeing you know you see old crack hands just moving with purpose. That's what it felt like." Some of you twenty six year olds can can run that fast. Stop. Thanks. Stop. Thanks. But moving past that, Stop. it's just. Seeing the response to the interview, I don't think I've ever seen like it, anything like it. I think in and of itself, it is very singular to me in my mind. And I think it's probably the second most viewed podcast ever. Uh, Though number one being Joe Rogan's podcast, uh, which I think has 56 during COVID at some point. He in one interview, he was able to skyrocket to that. Like, pff, Say I, what you want. I'm, that man is charismatic. He knows how to tell stories. I'm sorry. And he knows how to run interviews. And I watched that thing from start to finish, and it was amazing. Everything is... The only thing you try to say against Cat is that he can't read that many books and he don't run that fast. Mm-hmm. 
That's it. That's it. Out of two hours and something things, something seconds and something minutes that he said that he was talking, the only two things that you. So here, here, here comes the second part now. What comes after this? Does anything change? No. No, nothing changes. It's going to settle down after two weeks. Everybody's going to look at Steve Harvey, hmm, a little bit funny and stuff like that. White people are still going to love him. He's still going to have his shows, everything. Not much is going to change. Although, for Cat, the whole new respect is born. And he's going to be able to tour and do his thing. But I, for the rest of them that got called out, it's going to be like, man, I, Cedric is... I, I, go ahead. I think it did irreparable damage to some of their legacies. Cedric in particular, sure. I think, was really hurt by it. Sure. I think Steve Harvey much less so because he has a more global audience. Sure. I think it skyrocketed Cat into a new level. Yep. And I think overall, as far as the Hollywood stuff goes or all this other talk, I don't think it really changed the legacy of most of the people involved in any any strong way. I think it's one of those things where people learn more information, they learn about the industry. So maybe for a lot of people who are unaware before, they get more info. But beyond that, I don't think it really changes much. That's my honest assessment. It hurt. It hurt said and Ricky Smiley the most. The rest, yep. even Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart is not going to change. Uh, 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 no. It's not going to. It's going to bug him. It's going to hit him. Yeah. But other than that, money-wise or globally, it's not going to change much. Nope. A ludicrous is going to show up in the next Fast and Furious, right? Because he gave up his booty for it. And everybody else is going to keep on doing what they do. So that's my honest assessment. That's what he said because he gave up his um, booty. Let me hear what Ice, ice I hey, said. Ice, hey, ice. hey, hey, hey. What he said because he gave his booty up for it. But, um, yeah, so check this out, man. Cat Williams, he did his thing. He, he set the record straight on a lot of things that needed to be talked about in the culture all the like i don't be knowing if illuminati and shit is real i've never been that rich i've never been in those circles if he's saying there's something to it then it might be something to it bro what's the point in lying about some shit like that but at the same time of course it's all secret type of shit that's around the world who knows what people be doing behind closed doors but um yeah man um if you believe K, you believe K. If you don't believe him, you don't. If you just thought it was entertaining and you watched it and you had a good time, it did what it was supposed to do. It got people talking. It got people, you know, questioning things. It got people responding. You see what people really think. You see how people really act when somebody really talking that shit. And it exposed a lot of things, man, that's wrong in this world. So, like, people don't have the ability to talk freely. Or speak up for themselves. So you need somebody to come out and do it. And somebody actually coming out and doing it, that became viral. So we need more people that's able to stand up and talk out about things. Because that shit do go viral when you actually talking that real talk. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. And uh, leave a comment below. Like, share, subscribe. I'm sick right now. But I hope y'all feeling good. Y'all feeling better. And y'all having a good night. Alright, peace.